Good boy, Benny. Stay. Thank you. Yeah, good boy, Benny. Stay. So, Benny is going to be enjoying a snack on a chicken carcass here. Uh, actually, I think this is a split car chicken carcass. Benny, stay. Um, I'll try to get a good picture here. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so... I'm not sure. I think this, to me, this looks like a split carcass, but I might be wrong. It might just be crushed. Uh, it's hard to say when it's in the shape it's in. Um, but actually, it may just be crushed. Um, it looks to be largely intact, so it's, I think it's probably a whole carcass, actually. So yeah, this is a chicken carcass, and I think it's about uh, three pounds, maybe four pounds. Uh, it could be as low, theoretically, depending on the bird, as two. But I think the dressed weight on this is about three. Um, anyway, so Benny's going to be enjoying this chicken carcass uh, by Ryan the Raw. Um, and uh, yeah, it's frozen. It's a favorite way to eat it. Good boy, Ben. And he'll. He, he sort of has a thing about how he eats. He likes to. Uh, Basically lick it for all the way over first and then once he's tasted everything uh, He decides where exactly he's gonna start and how he's gonna do it and he Chews it up um, So right now he's in his pre-eating uh, cleaning tasting stage really hard to say whether that's split or whole. I'll find out and I'll add it uh, in the, uh, um, ad added de extra details, additional details, whatever they call that section under the video. Um, uh, offhand, I think it, I thought they said it was split, but, um, I don't, I'm not sure it's split. Um, I'm... I feel like I'm, I'll, I'll have to check, I'm not 100%. I feel like it's not got enough on it to be a whole. Um, now, Bear in mind um, uh, that depending on whether this is a whole um, uh, carcass or a split carcass will vary how much um, is needed to be consumed uh, for a regular diet um, for your average animal. Um, Benny is a little uh, outside the norm of all spectrum of uh, diet and nutrition. Um, because he's a working dog and he needs far more calories than uh, your average dog consumes. Uh, just to be clear, um, he is fed uh, way more food and the, by far the vast majority of his diet is never going to be on film. Um, these are just isolated clips of his diet. Um, trying to showcase different aspects and features of the different things that he's eating. Um, for Benny, in a typical day, he's going to go through at least... Oh, give me a second. Um, he'd need at least four of those.
Um, but uh, I wouldn't want to feed the same thing uh, all day. Uh, I try to give him different things to eat in the day and try not to feed the same thing like, twice in a row. Um, generally speaking, I prefer to feed smaller meals um, more frequently. Um, so I tend to feed t twice a day at this point because he's about three now. Um, earlier on, I was feeding uh, three, even four, six times a day. Um, when he was a little puppy, like uh, four months, five months old, six months old kind of thing, then I was feeding him six like times a day. Um, I would typically stick with things like um, turkey necks, um, chicken necks, um, raw, frozen, uh, whole uh, poultry necks or backs, um, chicken carcasses or poultry carcasses, um, rabbits, um, beef, pigs, um, tur um, kangaroo, um, elk, deer, um, whatever I can get my hands on. I work with different butchers and uh, they all kind of are quite kind and helpful to uh, provide with me with some pretty decent deals. Um, you can usually get a uh, whole bone, um, like cow leg, a bone kind of thing. Um, for chewing on, um, as a recreational bone for free. Um, for carcasses, if you find a butcher, um, who focuses on poultry, um, they're going to be probably your best bet for pricing out those, um, carcasses. Uh, I've happened to luck out in finding a butcher who also has a restaurant, um, and the, the restaurant's pretty high end, and he uh, sells off the uh, carcasses left over after he chops off the breast and the um, legs and whatnot. Um, and uh, he sells them for pretty inexpensively. Um, but in that, you have to add extra meat um, because it's got a little too heavy bone. So it's uh, it's always a balancing act. And, you know, uh, I try to replicate the uh, natural ratio of bone to meat to organ um, to fur to whatever um, from what would naturally be a, a herbivore prey animal. Um, roughly, I, I try to average about the size of the dog's head um, two to three times a day for your average dog. Um, for a dog like Benny, um, he could easily go over six, seven, eight of these, um, if they're split, um, and, uh, if they're whole, um, he could easily go through four, um, of these in a day. So, yeah, um, again, he's an athlete, he eats a lot, um, obviously he's not overweight, um, and he's not, um, underweight either so that's obviously the most important thing he's still growing in a steady uh consistent stable fashion um without any abnormalities um so i i'm pretty confident that at this point he's eating the right amount um but most dogs won't need nearly as much as he eats One of the nice things about freezing the food is it really requires the dog to chew a lot more than they would. Uh, I find that defrosted food causes a lot of dogs to eat a lot faster. Um, and they're less likely to chew as much. Uh, the, oftentimes with raw food, they'll just chew it enough to kind of make it a little bit malleable. Uh, and they'll try to choke it down as fast and as much as they can. Um, so in those kind of cases, I really, uh, just for the dog's well-being, I prefer them to chew more and get more benefit to it for their mouths and, um, teeth and, um, have more entertainment engagement factor. Uh, so I feed it frozen, 
But as you can see, even frozen, it doesn't last forever. Um, it's probably equivalent to, say, like, three to four uh, reasonably spaced cookies. Um, maybe five or six, seven cookies, um, if fed unreasonably and just, like, feeding as fast as the dog will inhale them. Uh, so, I mean, it, it just kind of depends. Um, on the dog. He's a extraordinarily powerful animal who has been feeding and eating raw all his life. From when he was just a little baby, uh, and he was coming off his mom's milk, and he was starting to learn uh, to eat uh, raw food uh, that was given to him. Um, he's, uh, his mouse is perfectly capable and designed for this, and he has trained himself to be as uh, capable and effective at doing this as he could possibly be, um, and the end result is he goes through his food really quick. There's uh, even a dog of equivalent size, if say they're new to um, eating whole food, and uh, they're used to not having to chew their food, um, it'll take that dog a lot longer than it would take Benny to get through something. So. Assuming that dog, you should easily um, consider a doubling factor for the length of time it'll take for your animal to go through it. Um, even a bigger animal than Benny will probably still take some time. Um, however, with practice and experience, they should develop proficiency and be able to get up to at least, I would say, 75% of Benny's abilities at the minimum. Um, and could easily become more proficient if they are particularly motivated. In which case, it becomes even more important to freeze the food. And in addition, it, um, there's a good factor of just, you know, keeping them engaged and uh, keeping them from risking choking and keeping their mouths in good condition. I find uh, I always like to put down a mat uh, or something like that to for the dog to eat on. Um, and the, I like blankets like this when I'm at home because it's easy to throw in the washing machine. I carry a rubber mat when I'm out and about so that, uh, because that's easy to kind of just spray down. But uh, Benny doesn't leave a single crumb behind. He goes back over everything with a fine tooth comb and licks it clean. <laughs> um, but now that he's uh, pretty much near done, um, just got a little bit more cleaning for him. He wants less to do. Um, I can guarantee you, he will not miss a single bit. Um, nothing ever gets left behind. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll just probably end it up here. Um, but, uh, that's pretty much a chicken carcass. Um, I will include in the, I'll, I'll include in the description below and, um, uh, I'll try to change the title as well to reflect whether this is a half carcass or i.e. a split or if this is a whole carcass um, sorry guys I should have uh, found that out um, I'll do my best to have that info um, reflected in the title and uh, description below when I upload it um, so uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoy uh, watching Benny, uh, enjoy his, uh, snack, um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.